Hello everyone, welcome back to the Loan for Cards YouTube channel. We are playing a drug dealer simulator and this topic has been coming across many times over and over again and people are somewhat confused on why this is happening and we're talking about stacking your drugs in your inventory. And since a new update version 1.0.4.11 Dot one is in, uh, the latest one um, you're able to sell drugs to your dealers your customers and even to the gang with a different type of drugs so now you can sell them with two different type of drug names and drug types and they're able to accept it so the problem is now some people want to keep the drugs consistent so that way you can stack the same type of drug so I'm going to explain to you guys exactly what needs to happen to stack their drugs and uh, it's uh, very important that you follow these steps because if you don't do these steps, you're not going to be able to stack the drugs. So what we have here is the mixing tray. We have the, the small um, electric uh, mixer. We have the large mixer. We have the coffee grinder and we have the simple mortar. Okay. So these are the mixing the mixing products that you use the mixing tray, um, the simple uh, mixing machine, and then a the large mixing. So the thing that people don't realize that there is processing loss with the mixing tray and a processing loss with the small mixer. Okay, so no matter what you use with these two you're not going to be able to stack any drugs when you make them. It's, it's going to be impossible. I tried many, many combinations, many ways. It's impossible because of the processing loss. Whatever you mix with, it's going to lose that processing. So it's not going to be able to stack. Now, if you just end up just putting in one type of drug and take it back, it's not you're able to stack it because you're not mixing anything else. But if you mix two different ingredients, it's going to do the same thing. Now, we have a thing that people have been debating about using the coffee grinder, the coffee mill, and the mortar. People are saying the mill will not be consistent because you have a processing loss, which you're going to make your batch um, not consistent and then able to stack. Where the mortar is processing loss is zero, but the precision is good, so it's not going to stack because... It's, the precision is good. So to clear this up for you guys, it doesn't really matter. Okay, if you use the coffee mill or the simple mortar, the processing loss is just going to be losing because you're only using one substance, right? So you're going to be using Viagra, sugar, uh, any granulated um, pills or anything like that. It's just going to grind it down faster and it's just going to lose some of that process because you're only using one substance. And same thing with the mortar. You're going to lose zero processing loss. Even though a persistence says good, you're not going to lose any um, anything because it's going to be the same substance. Okay. As long as you can grind uh, the same thing and you can put it in one container, that means you're able to stack it. So as you can see here, the Viagra, I used 50, 50 here, 50 grams here, put in a container. If you're able to put it in a container as a powdered, it's going to be consistent. Okay. So that's one of the big things that people have been debating you got to use the the simple mortar you got to use the coffee mill because this precision is perfect no the main important thing is the large mixer okay this is the one that you need to use if you don't have this unlocked by now you need to get to level 13 unlock it from the drugstore that's where you can buy um, a lot of your equipment all right so the main thing about the mixing is you have to mix it in a certain order okay that's the most important thing now you're going to be using the large mixer so what we're going to do is we're going to use cocaine for this example and we're going to use we're going to do a 10 to 2 combination right so that way we can keep it consistent so we're going to do 10 of cocaine we're going to use the powdered viagra here so we're going to use two and then we're going to use baking soda and we're going to do two we're going to apply the mix you can see cocaine, 10 grams, Viagra, 2 grams, baking soda, 2 grams. And this is a 71%, which is good enough to give to everyone pretty much, um, except um, Belena, Belena, sorry. Um, if you're going to make a, a Belena gang task, you want to keep it above 75%. Okay, so just let you know. We're just doing this for a test. So we're going to name this Coke. And what we're going to do is we're going to speed this up and we're going to put it into inventory. All right, we're gonna package the product. 
And we're gonna make it put a 14. All right, so we have we made 14. So we're gonna make it again, so we can show you guys what's going on on here. All right, we're gonna do 10. Now instead of doing so, the order that we put it in was cocaine, Viagra, and baking soda. Now we're gonna do a different order. We're gonna put in baking soda, and then we're gonna put Viagra. And I can see it's going to be the same percentage, but the order is a little bit different now. Instead of the Viagra being the second place, Viagra is now in the third place. And we're still going to call it Coke. I'm going to speed this up. I'm going to package the product. All right, I'm gonna check the inventory. Now I can see it did not stack up. Even though the same amount of ingredients was in the both products, it didn't stack up. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back. We're gonna do 10. Now we're gonna go back to our original formula, which is Viagra, the powder. This has already been grinded, guys, so make sure either one you use. You, I would suggest to use the, the simple mortar, so that way you don't lose like 3%, up to 3% of loss. That way you can save some money at the point that you know you have to grind it. And I'm gonna put two here. Apply mix, and I can see uh, it's gonna be all there. And we're gonna name it the same, Convention, Coke. Kind of mix it up, speed it up real quick. And I'm respect on sale areas low, because I'm making this video. And then we're gonna package the product. And if this, if this goes as planned, it should stack the very first one. And there's the first one of the Coke, okay? And again, if you want to stack, the, make sure you know which one you want to stack. We're going to do it one more time, okay? It's, like, it's a little bit repetitive, but just to show you guys. And then we're going to use baking soda this time. And then we use Viagra. I'm gonna let me speed this up for you guys. And if this goes right, which it should, it's gonna stack the second side, the second half of it. And there we go. So that's how we do it. Now, the combination, there's there's a bunch of combination you can do to uh, mix a formula, right? And sometimes people forget to put in the the main drug first, which I like to do because if you put the main drug, whatever drug or whatever ingredient you put in first, it's kind of, when you do the label, it's going to say the new blank formula, right? So if you put baking soda first, it's going to say baking soda formula. Right? So I'm going to show you this real quick. We're going to put in, um, we're going to put in Viagra first this time. And we do the same ingredients. That way you guys can uh, see. And some of you guys might already know this, but uh, this is a good way just so you guys know uh, about stacking. See, as you see, the first ingredient that you put is kind of put a Viagra, uh, the label of whatever you put in. It's the same, same formula still, guys. So make sure when you have your workstation all configured, have it lined up perfectly of where you want your ingredients so that way you can um, you can stack your uh, drugs properly and again you can still mix and match all the different name to your ingredients as you can see you made a third one here of the three different as as you can see these are all the same ingredients though and if you want to give it to your dealers and your uh, customers you can always mix and match these but if you want to stack them you have to make sure you use the large mixer and put the ingredients in the exact same order for you to stack it okay so that's it for this video i hope you guys uh, like this content if you do please hit the like hit the subscribe any questions or comments make sure you put it down there i'll respond to them fast as i can and i appreciate you guys you guys stay safe out there and catch you guys next time peace out